the subject of straight names. Oh yes, people can actually be affected by the straight name. Are you one of those people? Get a load of this. Residents launch a petition to change the straight name. People living in Bell End in West Midlands are appealing to Samwell Council saying the name makes them a laughing stock. Frustrated residents have launched a petition to change the rude and offensive name of their street. People living in Rowley Regis in Sandwell, West Midlands argue it is one of the oldest street names in the country and has often been the subject of huge ridicule amongst visitors, guests and travellers alike. was ranked fourth in the UK in a list of the top 10 rudest sounding street names released in 2014. Their petition states, it's time for a change. The term bellend can be seen and used as a rude or an offensive word. It can affect people in various financial, psychological and emotional ways. House prices can often suffer due to the street name, children being bullied, evening more often than not over the same problem. People's demeanour can often be hugely affected by such street name ridicule, especially if they are saddled with that street name in a financially deprived neighbourhood. The petition offers Bell's Road as a possible solution. Bell's Road? Mm. Councillor David Hossel, Samwell's council's cabinet member for highways and environment said, Obviously, if this is an issue that residents do feel strongly about, I'd urge them to forward that petition to the council, and we can look at their request in more detail. Incidentally, on hearing about the Bell End petition, Stephen Young of Menge Lane, that's right, I did say it, Menge Lane, said, a bit silly and over the top. There has been no plan to change the name of our road. We have had a problem, however, with people stealing the sign occasionally, but nobody has that fussed about the name. There are no plans to start a petition, because people are happy with the name of the road. Ah. What about the other roadest UK street names on that list? Well, you heard it, Mange Lane, Upton upon Seven, Worcestershire, followed by Slag Lane, that's right, Slag, Slag Lane, my God, who does that, who names a road Slag Lane, that's in Lowton, Lancashire, then it's Fanny Hands Lane, Fanny Hands Lane, that's in Lockford, Lincolnshire, and then we've got the credulously bell end that we're on the subject of right now. That's followed by Crutch Crescent. Ha! That's Oxfordshire. My goodness. Did they not think of these things when they named the roads? The knob King Sutton Northamptonshire. Then comes Cock Lane. That's in Farringdon, London. Well, I've never seen a cock poxy lane in Farringdon, London, or live here. I've never bumped into that one, and hope I never do. Then it's Cock Shoot Close, Oxfordshire. What's this one? Kine Street. That's right. C U M M I N G Street. That's based in Islington, London. And finally, Cock a Dobby. Good God, eh? Guess where that's based? That's in Sandhurst. My goodness. And Barsha. Yes. Well, I'd hardly call Sandhurst a financially deprived neighbourhood where the royal family are all schooled and educated. It is like, what a cock-up.